I had been working with my late husband, James Nicholas, from the Cree Nation in northern Manitoba on work that we called love stories. Today you would call it reconciliation work. So it was dialogic work and an and understanding of how the nation was built through containment and control. And we were driving along, we, for some reason we took a different road when we were coming out of BAMP. And we go by this statue close to Castle Mountain and the statue is, is standing there with its hand out like this saying, you know, why? Oh. And there it talks about the internment of Ukrainian people in World War I. And I regarded myself as educated, but at that moment I realized I wasn't. And it was because of that realization that this work began. That, that, that the, doing the work on the book, the, the stories were not told, was a way of educating myself and James too, because James participated in that. It made me reflect on, on how my own people, you know, retreated in Canada during that time. And it made me want to ask the question, how is that trauma carried on from generation to generation? Genuine dialogue people talking with each other and uh, sharing suppressed stories and, and sharing the pain of those stories is crucial to moving forward as a nation.